it was the first time that the Olympic Games had women's basketball. Uh, they had never had women playing basketball at the Olympic Games, and I was on the first team for USA and competed against five other countries, including, excuse me, including the host country, uh, Montreal, Canada. My name is Gail Marquis, and I was born here in America, in New York. And I grew up here with my mother, father, and my four brothers and sisters. So I've always been a New Yorker, and I've always loved sports. And the time came when I was able to uh, go to school and play sports and, and just kept playing more and more and kept taking it to another level and, and really enjoyed it. I began playing basketball uh, when I was about 12 years old, maybe 13 years old. And I started to play because I didn't like school. Uh, I was going to a new school and new friends and people I didn't know. But my sister said, well, at least play sports and go out for the basketball team, for the softball team, other sports, which I enjoyed. And I made new friends. And, and in playing basketball and playing so many sports, I just wanted to get better and better. And I wanted to see how good I could be. And I was almost playing against myself, not playing against other teams, but seeing how good I could be, seeing how strong I could be through sports. What motivated me was probably, especially when I got to high school, to the senior level was that there were things for the boys team that we didn't have for the girls team. Yeah. The boys had beautiful uniforms. They had a big gymnasium that they could play in. We only had maybe three basketballs. They had 12. And what motivated me was maybe being angry that the boys had so much and the girls had very little. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just kept pushing and playing harder so almost they couldn't deny that our girls basketball team, that a girl, a girl could play basketball and be very good at it. So that was my motivation. And I just kept going and played better and better in high school. And when the time came to go to college, I was able to find a college that had a good basketball team. And, and between basketball and my studies, I just, I just got better and better. Uh, a, a lot of times when you play on teams, you have to go through a tryout. They, maybe a hundred people will try out for one team and they don't have enough places. Uh, so I was often disappointed in that I wasn't selected uh, for the different national teams or when I played in high school or more so when I played in university at college, I wanted to play more but there were other players that were better than me, but I didn't think that they were better than me. And when I went out to play for the national team, I wasn't selected for many tryouts. I would always go to the trials, but at the end of the competition, they would say, no, you, 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 not you, Gail Marquis, no Gail mm -hmm. Marquis. So mm -hmm. I was very uh, disappointed. And there were times I thought, well, maybe it's because they wanted a different type of player and that would be uh, frustrating. But it didn't stop me from playing. I just played harder and harder and worked more and more on my basketball skills. Oh, it, it, it meant so, so much. Uh, first of all, I was very proud to represent my family, my mother and father who had worked very hard to put us all through college and give us a, a good home. I have four brothers and sisters and all of all of us went to university. My parents somehow found the money or we got um, financial aid, but we all were able to go to college and get higher education. And then I was very proud of my city and country, New York City, where I grew up and very proud because we didn't have much money uh, and they didn't have much that was given to, I'm sorry, and much was not given to the, the uh, girls and women's teams. 
And then finally, I was very proud, finally, to represent my country, United States of America. Um, I, I tell people I did not serve in the military, but having been uh, an Olympic champion and having traveled to places like France and, and Senegal and other foreign countries, I feel like I'm a diplomat because I'm representing not only Gail, but I'm representing the United States of America. And I think about my Olympic experience every single day. Uh, people get married or people grow up or they have things that happen to them. And you might think of, of, of those experiences every single day of your life. If, if you're a parent and you have a child, you probably think of that child every single day of your life. Well, I think of my Olympic experience every single day of my life. Not a day goes by that I don't think of the accomplishment, of the medal, but really what it took to get there. Mm. How I had to work so hard to finally make the USA national team. And it just happened to be the Olympic team. I made the right one. I watched the Olympics. I like to see all the sports and all the athletes. Of course, I want to see the USA team, but I love seeing other sports that I don't know a lot about or other athletes I don't know a lot about. So um, I just enjoy the Olympics so much because I still believe uh, more so than our big countries that we all live in and the politics and everything. I just think that sports brings everyone together. I think sports is a, a great way to discover yourself, to meet other people, to uh, just challenge yourself. Uh, so I've always loved sports. And with the Olympic Games, again, I look forward to seeing athletes from all different countries and all different sports. So of course I will be watching. Oh yes, I, I, I almost expect the women's Olympic basketball team to bring home another gold medal. Uh, they're very talented, they're very strong, and the 12 ladies that represent the United States, if if they didn't pick the first 12, there would be another group of 12. Uh, basketball is very popular uh, on women's basketball teams and universities and professional, and the girls and women work very, very hard. So I expect them to win another gold medal, and I expect to see different people winning silver and bronze from who won last year. Basketball now, women's basketball, women's sports, from football to, to, uh, to athletics, to track and field, to basketball, women are really getting stronger, much more competitive, and they are great to watch. Oh, it's, it's very important, especially when you're young, to have a physical activity. It could be walking, it could be running, it could be swimming, uh, but it needs to be something. And it's important because I think first it challenges you and your body. And if you're young, you have to remember your muscles or your bones are just growing. They're, they're, they keep growing until you're almost 21 years old. So you need to strengthen them through exercise, through walking, some type of physical activity. If you can do it every day, great. If you can do it three times a week, great. If you could do it once a week, great. But uh, physical activity helps your body get stronger, helps you grow, and it also builds up your immune system. So you can get stronger and fight off a cold or flu or any other kind of um, influence that might get you sick and pull you down. So it really helps to get your body stronger. It's very important that you play have some type of activity and you play. And then as you get older, many of the sports that you did when you were younger, you can still do when you're a little bit older. Now, I, I don't play basketball anymore, but I still like to go swimming and that's a great sport. I like to go walking and I put my little uh, earbuds in my ears and listen to my favorite music. And I like to walk for about 30 minutes, maybe longer. And then another activity I liked was even riding my bicycle. So that's something I learned when I was 10 years old, to ride a bicycle, to walk, to swim. 
And here I am years later, I can still do those activities and many more. So it's very important to play and enjoy yourself. And I think the final part around play and exercise and activity is that I met so many friends. I have I have friends today that I met when I was 12 years old playing sports in middle school or high school, and even my college teammates and my Olympic teammates. I still have those friends to this very day. So sport brings you together and, and it makes great friends. So if you have problems making friends, try to try to get involved in a sport. And there's usually one or two people who want to be your friend as well. If you can, si peu, if you can, play, en jeu, something, mm -hmm. for 30 minutes, presque en plus, uh, each day, each journey, or ultra journey, but you must play, you must be active, try to do something. Even if you have to sit in your chair and, I don't know, just do your exercises in your chair, but you must be active. So I challenge you to do it three times a week, not just once or twice, three times a week, 15 minutes a day. Try that. And then if you can, try to do it 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes, en jour. And if you can, you do it more. And I challenge you to also make a friend. Be a friend. Be a friend and make a friend. Meet someone, even if you have to do it through the video and still make a friend and be a friend. Reach out to someone who might be lonely or you don't get to talk to them, talk to them. So that's my challenge. See if you can exercise three times a week for at least 15 minutes every week and make a friend, be a friend. One more surprise. So it's very important to me. I have so many basketball and international toys, but this one is one of my favorite. This is my Olympic medal. And I won my Olympic medal in 1976. I know, I know I don't look that old, but 1976. Here's my medal, Hold on, let me take it out. I think you'll see it better. But that's my Olympic medal from the Olympic Games. Good, that's better. You can see it right there. Yes. That's yeah. my Olympic medal. Mm -hmm. And again, this is a silver medal. Uh, the team from United Soviet Republic, they were the first, they won mm -hmm. gold. And the team from Bulgaria won the bronze. But I'm very proud of my Olympic medal. And I'm huh. very proud that I get to share it with you. It's one of my favorite little gifts.